right, man. This is the top. This is the the. I won't, I won't say top five because there's a lot of honorable mentions inside of this. But this is the what if, the, the your starting five what if. Okay, I got my man Derrick Rose. Now this is in no particular order whatsoever. But D Rose had the United Center had Chicago go crazy. Bunny hopping and off two legs, two hands with hands. He was a whole, he, he was a real issue. He was a for real issue, okay? He played 81 games, 78 games, 81 games, and 80 games, and then the knees started to kick in. The knees, and then he went from 39 games to 10 games to 14 games. But the knees, right? When you're someone so explosive as he was, the knees, it, 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 you need the knees, okay? And I, this is a reoccurring theme with all these players. These are my what ifs. These are my top five what ifs. They're, it's a reoccurring thing with them is the knees, okay? Then I got my nigga T Mac. T Mac, you ain't know which way he was going because of the eye. So he was, but a lot of people say this dude was a nightmare. A nightmare on Elm Street. He you he could he could pull up from half court. He could pull up. He he psh, what? Cross niggas over and he was he's a, a pause. He was a big body though. He was a big body and he could dribble the ball. So it was it was it was an issue. He was averaging 19, 5, and 6, I believe it was, right? Played for Houston, played for Toronto, he played for um Orlando. Like in that Orlando, he was yeah. What if though? Because of the knees. The knees, the knees, the knees, man. Then we got Grant Hill. Grant Hill, man. Like Grant Hill. 16, 6, and, and, and 5 he averaged. Like, this dude was the prototype. He would be like, before people got, before all, you, you got these dudes in the league now that, you know, hoop like him or whatever, mid-range, like Sean Livingston mid-range, you know what I'm saying? He can bang, you know what I'm saying? He can pass, he can dish, he can do it all. He was a, he was a, he was a, what they call in baseball, four tool, you know what I'm saying, in baseball, but in basketball, this you know, there's different terms for it. But he could do it all. He could do it all. The knees. The knees. And we got no chill gill, man. No chill gill. So I see a lot of people that be on his podcast and Gil Zarina be talking wild crazy. Like, yo, you only had two great seasons or whatever. Woo, woo, woo. He averaged 20 points, four rebounds, and I think like five assists in his career. Now, mind you, the injuries, the knees, the knees, okay? It, he, he played 80, he played, I think, a full season probably four or five times. And then, you know, situations happen where you get the strap and, you know, Shit happens. You can't take, you know, uh, the hood out of nigga. You, you, you just can't take it out of him. So, uh, Paul, so the injury. So I put him in there too because he is a shooter. Who the f- like, you niggas act like putting 60 up on a nigga. Biscuit is just regular, regular, right? So putting 60 on somebody's forehead, pause, is just regular, right? Like, niggas do this all day long. What? And listen, he did it on. He did it on. Oh my god, father! He did. Y'all know who he did it on, man. Stop playing, man. Please stop playing with Gilbert Arena's name. Now he done. Now he done got in the lab, and now he done made a a a, a, a taller Gilbert. He done had a. He done had a, a offspring. That's that 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 shoot like him. That's taller than him. That's, 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 that's faster. Like, man, look, Elijah, y'all better look out for Elijah. And I guess this is my number one, man. I'm about to cry even looking at Penny, man. It's my point guard. Penny was that, Penny was that nigga, man. Penny was that dude before that dude was that dude. Penny was him before him was like, like the, the, the passing, the dishing. The pulling up, the the double crossover, no look, the eh, behind the, eh, but this the prototypical point guard. But the knees, the knees, the ankles, the knees. Oh, it's a tragedy. But 
he still got his game. He's still he's still a Hall of Famer in my eyes. You know what I'm saying? He still is on my top five. He still got in 80 games with Phoenix after he had the injuries and whatnot. And then, you know, it went downhill after that. He played 50 games and then 40 games and then, you know, stuff like that. But he still, in Orlando, when he first started, he played 82 games, 83 games, 77 games. You know, all these dudes, if they had load management back then, pause. If they had load management back then. A lot of these players, man, they would have been they, 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 the knees would have been, you know, what I'm saying that Derrick Rose would have had long uh, uh, load management. If Tracy McGrady would have had load management, if all these brothers would have had load management, um, they could have extended their careers a little bit more. Gilbert, if he had long load management and a little bit of um, <laughs> if he wasn't psycho, Bob, he could have, you know, he he could have extended his career. But they all doing their um, own thing respectively in their own uh, outside of the NBA and whatnot. You know, Gil probably got the number one sports podcast on YouTube. Shout out to Gil's Arena. Shout out to all them brothers over there. They be chopping Randy uh, uh, McCants ass up. They be chopping him up. He think he can guard Brandon Jennings. I don't know where the f- you get that from. I don't know where you get that from, Rashad. But, yeah, that's my top five, man. 